Hi all, to the Pipe Pass Day 2 series. So today we will be moving on the second part. How we can find the, the highest amount purchased per set. Okay, that is a day 2 interview preparation. So thanks for joining the Vision Board community. And I will give you the complete Pipe Pass series in our website also. The link uh, in the below description. You can just go and just give a sign up. And you can use the complete material from there. Okay, let's start. I will share my screen. So the question will be, yesterday we already shared some information. And today's question is like, yes. So you already have a customer purchase analysis with the buy part. You already have a data frame. The data with the customer ID, purchase amount, and date frame. Okay, date, date. First thing you need to load the data. Thing will be you need to you can see here find amount. This is also asking every time this question is asking. So if you have complete idea about do by clause, order by clause, then only you can able to answer in the interview. And if the interviewer asks you to share your screen and uh, write the code, so prepare it that way. So you can see here the sample data set is customer dot csv. But right now we just we have the simple data frame. Uh, customer you can ready. A purchase amount and purchase date one uh, amount then date two amount date and this is the six rows we are taken right away so how you will be finding like that every time from pipa.sql this is the one that will help you to create a park session because we are building on top of the cloud from park.sql import park session from pipa.sql imports function as f for uh, performing the like Windows function and aggregate functions and all. Spark daughter, spark session daughter builder name. This builder name you can give anything that will help you to identify the particular spark session. Get or create. Then data equal to when you when you declaring the data. Very important thing you need to be like this, like a list kind of thing. You need to be specified. For example, list the first row 100. This one. Comma, next one, two, uh, 150, date, comma. Okay, so this way you will enclose the list also for data. Then column means the schema. Okay, that means the headers, whatever you want to pass. Customer ID, purchase, amount, and a date of purchase. And sometimes you can give the type also, like string or just integer. But right now, it's a small UK. We are just starting in the Python. Don't need to give that also. Then DF equal to par dot Spark dot like a DS equal to spark dot create data frame. Very important thing when you create, when you're making uh, this one, DF dot spark dot create. K, uh, C, yeah, small letters and data frame, D capital, S capital. So this is very important. It's case sensitive. And we need to pass the data, comma, the schema. That means data, if this is the data, and the columns mean what is the schema. So that we are passing to here. Then total purchase per customer equal to df dot group by customer ID. Based on the customer ID, we are grouping by then aggregate f dot sum of the purchase amount dot alias total uh, purchase amount. Okay. Then customer with the highest purchase, total purchase customer dot order by. This is the line we want to actually. Okay. Uh, once you get this one, order by from the top. That is the customer who has the highest paid, okay, for in the particular organize or, or in the transaction. So order by F dot descending, that means from the highest to lowest dot first. That will give you the first value only. So the customer with the highest purchase contain here. When you when you're running this one, I will show you with the contain the highest value. You can see here I'm just uh, loading a will. You can even use this way to hide this one, run the spell. It is like running. You can see here in the spark job. Okay, spark job is inside the spark job, job one, job two, and the stages also there. That way, the spark is associating their uh, their uh, workload into the work driver node, okay, driver node to worker node. So it will be job, then job will be stages and task, this kind of thing, okay, spark architecture. 
you can see here first this is the data frame we just loaded uh, and once you get from this line like customer with the highest purchase order from this line okay in this one what you can show like you will see the id one will be uh, 6600 two will be 270 okay summing of this one three will be 50. You can see from this one itself, you can know one is the customer ID who purchased more amount of item. So what you should do, you just want to this one. So that is the reason the code, it will be customer with the highest purchase equal to total purchase to customer, total order by F total descending and total purchase amount first. Okay, then DF total show and then if you do this one, print off this equal to this one. So it will help you to whoever really want. I will just run this one. You will get the amount. Okay, you can see the customer with the highest purchase will be ID one. Okay, you can purchase, you can see like, you can mention like customer ID. Customer ID. And you can run it. I'm just given here also customer ID. this one so here you can see like customer with the highest ID purchase and in in itself you can see we are assigned into the first amount then df dot to show the total purchase customer dot to show then print off the customer with the highest package okay in this one you can mention like okay this is the first item the inside the customer ID you want to Fine from there. So that is the reason we are getting this data. Okay. You can see here the customer with the highest purchase equal to one. So from here it will be taking the data. Customer purchase from here you will get the first amount. So it will be getting the one. So that is about the how to find uh, the highest customer. Also, this is also asking interview question. Prepare well. I will share the link also, register here. Okay, thank you.